Look, look, look at here, folks. I'm about to share something with y'all that happened to me six years ago. And when I share this story, I haven't really shared this real live facts with nobody. That what happened and what I experienced in my life. And what I'm about to say is, is very true. I don't make up stories on this channel or fairy tales and all kind of weird things, you feel me? I only know how to speak these facts and what I experienced. And like I said, they always say dreams and, and realities. We don't know much about them. Dreams or mysteries. And when you close your eyes at night, you really don't know why you in another world. But anyways, let's get to this. Six years ago, man, I was laying in my bed. You know, just got done reading a book. And I happened to close my eyes, man, and um, I drifted off into a deep dream. And as I drifted into this sleep, I seen some things, bro, that really startled me. And have y'all ever heard of quantum jump? Quantum jump is when you jump into the future or the past from deep inside of a sleep. They say you can quantum jump without knowing, but it's very dangerous. Like you can picture a window with a light in your sleep and go through that, that light and hit the light and you'll quantum jump. But anyways, I wasn't trying to quantum jump into the future but I seen the end of the world and what I saw when the end of the world was coming was I was sitting in my house chilling man and all of a sudden man I heard the military outside they was running around and uh, they were saying oh he's on the way he's on the way so I happened to peek out my window and look up in the sky man and I seen the most high man like a sword like a like a big old ball of light and a sword a golden sword that scratched way across the sky bro like real sharp and it was heading down here and i seen the most high in front and it was like a zillion angels behind him getting prepared to battle and as soon as i saw that i looked towards the ground and i seen eight foot demons just pop out the ground out of nowhere bro no cow and so i was scared man and the military was working with the demons and so they was like yeah uh, we gotta pop them all you know what i'm saying like the military just the military just started getting they nina trades and just popping everybody They're talking about we can't let them find out that the most high exists you feel me and so i ran under the house man and I was hearing all my loved ones getting, you know, getting thrown away and getting clocked out of here, bro, getting popped and everything. And, the, and these things, I can explain, bro, these demons that popped out of the ground, like, they just popped out of nowhere, like, teleported out of the ground. They was at least 8 foot to 10 foot tall, bro. They was real big. Look like, almost like the aliens, the, the things that you see, like, they had, like, four arms. Uh, they was real skinny and you know what I'm saying like real slim and tall but the most high you know he was a giant bro like it was just like a big old planet like a ball of light man it was hard to look up on it and I just seen the sword he had in his hand like I just seen a sword just coming down here to just just chop everything up like lamb chops man and you know in the demons man they was they was trying to get prepared to fight, you know what I'm saying? And, and there was people down here on Earth actually fighting with the demons. Then they just started popping everybody else. And I'm going to tell you, man, when that, whatever was coming down, the whole sky fell to the ground, bro. It was so powerful that the clouds, everything went dark. The clouds fell to the ground. The stars fell to the ground. Everything that was up there in the sky fell to the ground, bro. Even the moon was on the ground, bro. Just weird, bro. Like, everything was just down on the ground. And it was just thundering on the ground, like. And then the whole sky was just bright, man. You could just see the most high up there coming down, bro, with a sword, man. 
I mean, finna body wrap, chop everything up like lamb, bro. Like some potty meat. I'm trying to tell you, man. And that scared me, you know. And I figured, why did I see this? I ask myself that question all the time. Did I quantum jump into the future? Because the, the dream, whatever it was, was too detailed. And I can't make this up. I haven't had a dream or nothing like this in six years, man. I had it six years and told somebody that thought I was crazy. But in that dream, it was terrified, bro. The military was popping people. Taking them out, bro. Point blank, period. And, you know, they said, we can't let them find out that the most high exists. He's coming. Scared me at the death. You know what I'm saying? I was under the house. I ran under the house. I don't even know how I got under the house. Because it was barely any space. But I got under there, man. And watched all my loved ones get chopped up, man. By the military, bro. For real, man. And I don't know why I haven't had any more dreams about this or whatever. But this was six years ago. This was a long time ago. And I haven't had no more quantum jump experiences i think i quantum jumped into the into the end of the world yeah and when the most high when i seen what i when i looked up there it didn't look pleasing you know what i'm saying it looked like he the way that the most high was coming out the sky the sword was coming down on us and you know on the enemies out there and he's gonna chop them up it was going to be a whole nother war. Because remember the war in heaven. And he came down. Got fed up. I guess the most high is like. You know what? I'm tired of this. Come on, Mike the Archangel. Let's go. And got up the troops. Came down, man. It was a big old war out here, bro. Demons and angels, bro. It was crazy. When I think about it, that might that might be how the world will end. Bro. I can't validate this, you know. I can't. I'm just sharing to me, sharing to y'all what I experienced and what I saw. Because dreams are way more deeper, or whatever they call them. I really don't know what it is. But sometimes when I close my eyes, I see things, bro. I don't, I, you know, I don't get these every day. You know what I'm saying? I might have a dream. Or a quantum jump every six months. Or it might be a year from now when I see something real disturbing. You know. I don't like seeing things like that. I'm, I'm glad I haven't had any more quantum jumps or dreams or whatever they call them. Like that. Because what I saw was scary, bro. It was like a whole purge, man. And the military was fighting with the demons, bro. I'm like, what? Are you serious, bro? Man. Look, though, man. What y'all think about quantum jumping? Dreams. Closing your eyes and seeing things. Do y'all think this stuff is really deepening what it, what it really is? I think so. But until then, next time, man. This is the Messy Robot. And I'm out.